make our calling secure. This way we will not stumble. A believer sure of his salvation cannot be lied to or deceived by the devil. So be sensitive to God. Know when little seeds of doubt are being sown in your life. When you, you begin to doubt your faith, this is a sign you're under spiritual attack, and you must not take it lightly. There is grace available for you to stand up and fight. God is ready to be with you every step of the way. So do not relent. Do not let the devil have a hold on you. Bodily fatigue and physical exhaustion can sometimes be a sign that you're under spiritual attack. A weakening body is sometimes the devil's tool to pull us away from prayer and study. The devil blurs our vision. He makes us sick and exhausted. When we are tired and sick, he pulls away from fellowship. A weak body is sometimes an indication of a weak spirit, so the devil tries to keep our bodies down. This makes us pull away from people. We stop talking and sharing. Our weakness becomes a burden we don't want to talk about. But when we don't talk about our weakness with other believers, there's no one to encourage us. The devil knows that if he can keep us lying sick in bed, we would be reluctant to pray or study. He knows that if he can occupy us with pain in our body, we won't fellowship with God or with other believers. A weak body can make us feel overwhelmed and helpless just as we begin to lose hope, especially when the pain or exhaustion has lasted for too long. As believers, we need to be able to know when it is a physical illness and when it's a spiritual illness. When we can tell the two apart, we will know how to respond to them. Spiritual battles should be fought with spiritual weapons. Admiral, this is an outrage. You want me dead. All of you. And that's the truth. You want me dead. Do you know Gomer and Scully?